Okay, so so the Lost Boys, it was you, uh, Freaky Ty. Yep. Uh, Pretty Lou. Pretty Lou, Spig Nice. And DJ Spig Nice. Yes, sir. So so you guys came together, and you actually put out an indie album, uh, Lifestyles of the Rich and Shameless. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you guys put that out yourself, and it started to buzz? Well, we put it out on, on, a, on a little red tape, and um, just like, circulated around, get it to be heard. And um, like I said, Tim Dog, he heard it, and, and he gave us a shot at it. You know what I'm saying? And then we just took okay. it from there. Hell yeah. And then you got the deal with Uptown Records. No doubt. Well, was Puffy over there at that time? I don't think so. I think he was doing some Arista things and all of that, you know? He was really ah, okay, right. That, that. That's after he left and started yeah. his own thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Started Bad Boy. That's right. Okay. So, so you guys get on Uptown, and was Renee the first single? Nah, Lifestyles of the Rich and Shameless. That's the first single. Okay. Some right. Die with the name, Some Die Nameless. Word. That was the first single, first video. And that, that shit right there, man. We, if you've ever seen that video, man, you already know. We had the old hood out there doing what it do, man. I mean, that's how much LBs are, you know what I'm saying? Just we, we, we are in the hood and we are a community of, of holding each other down and making it happen. Yeah, no, I mean, I remember that video. The OMTV Raps was was kind of in full swing at that time. Yep. Um, the box, so, all that type shit. Yep, the box, all that. Okay, so when I first heard y'all, it, it was it was a New York style, but it was really it was really different because the kind of like the the back and forth that you and Freaky Ty had and kind of like the cadence of what you guys were doing, it wasn't traditional rap. I mean, you mentioned Rakim, but this was not Rakim type rap. No question. So like, how did that develop, really? Partying, man. Partying from the Q Club encore. We used to go out a lot and, and and dance and battle and all of that. You know what I'm saying? From 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 early, we used to battle, break dance, all of the hip hop ingredients. We had that with us. You know what I'm saying? So like, when we go out, we like to get that vibe on. You know what I mean? I mean that's the jump. You know what I'm saying? LBs is just that 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 pump. You know what I'm saying? We like to party and we like to just enjoy our night out. You know what I'm saying? We ain't into all of that wilding, but you know what I'm saying? Things happen and things go down, and that's what that is. But overall, we like to just party, you know what I'm saying? So that's what life is, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and when you guys dropped, it was like, you guys didn't sound like anybody. Like, it was it was just a very, very unique type of music, man. I think why pe- that's why people gravitated towards it. No doubt. It's different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Different, man. Okay, so you guys dropped Lifestyles of Rich and Shameless, and then what was the second single? Second single was... Um, Lex Cruz Beamers in the Benz. That was my shit. <laughs> that that was that was my shit right there. You know there. what I'm saying? Lex Cruz Beamers in the Benz, man. That shit right there. Whoa. Oh man, that that was a, that was one of the greatest joints we ever did right there. You know what I'm saying? I agree. I mean, that's actually my favorite Lost Boy song right there. Or it was fun. Yeah, man. Okay, and then what was the next single after that? Renee. Right. Now that was the big one. That was, yeah, it's a heavy duty joint, right? Still to this day. Okay, so Renee is essentially a story about a girl that you hook up with who ends up getting killed. Right. Was there any truth? Was that based on anything, or is that just a made up story? It's a it's a story about a shorty that got killed in our neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And we, I just, it was one of them topics where I just said, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to write about it. You know what I mean? See how people. See how, how I connect with people. It's like the ill story. You don't really think of your shorty getting killed. You know what I'm saying? So when a shorty, a lady or a female get killed, that should just bug you out. You know what I'm saying? So I wrote that. You know what I'm saying? And it, may be, it may be a story to somebody. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it was about. You know what I'm saying? I, I dedicated to, to the shorty Ebony out there in Queens. But it's for anybody that lost a loved one, a shorty. You know what I'm saying? So word yeah. up. So that was on the soundtrack for uh, Don't Be a Menace for Drinking Your Juice in the Hood. That's crazy, right? <laughs> Quite a mouthful. That was, that was, a, that was ill. That's yeah. Big, you got your music, and, your music and movies, man. That's, that's big, baby. You know what I'm saying? That was, that was a, good, that was a good, good, good day for us to hear that in a in the movie and watch that in there while they're doing their thing. That was crazy. Facts. Okay. And, and that single actually went gold. Hell yeah. Was that your first gold single at that point? 
Nah, I think that was the third. We went gold. Like Oh, oh, so you're going gold every single. We're the mother. When you see okay. Unsung, we got Unsung dropping in January. I, I forgot certain things I did. You know what I'm saying? We, I forgot certain music we made and, 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 and the impact it made. So it's like, it's crazy, man. Or Okay. And then Music Makes Me High, that's the next thing. Music single? Make Me High. Whew. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's a lot of joints, right? Yeah, a man. lot of joints. And, and the name of the album was called Legal Drug Money. Facts. Okay, why that name? That's what we was making, Legal Drug Money. We hitting you with the music, the, mu the, the lyrical drugs, the music drugs, you know what I'm saying? So the, we're trying to make the lyric game like we, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? You want to make the dope lyric game. You want to have dope beats. So we're trying to sell that to you all in one. Le make this legal drug money. Yeah. Like I said, we wanted to be drug dealers. This is the only drug dealer we could do is sell the music. So that's how we get our hustle on. Work. Okay. And how did that album do? Went platinum. Platinum. Facts. Okay, well, were you nominated for a Grammy for that album? Because I know at one point. No, nah, I get I, nah, I ain't get no Grammys for them albums. I got some Grammys. I piggybacked backed off of Steve Marley album, Damon Marley. Uh, okay. Most of my Grammys came from the all my Grammys came from the Marley's albums. You know, 